Welcome everybody, I hope all is well. Zach and my colleague Sahil here with another tutorial for the Expert Developer Series, brought to you by the Expert Developers at TechLink International. This tutorial is going to first demonstrate how Anaplanners and administrators alike can leverage Anaplan Connect to run actions outside of Anaplan from a desktop. Now, typically this functionality is built out on a smaller scale using Anaplan Connect as a precursor to business units running fully automated or scheduled action processes. Following, we will then display how we can leverage the Tableau connector for seamless data visualization updates. So first I'm going to display the plan of action as well as an application of this tool. Then I'm going to be taking you all through a live demo of the front end process. Following, my colleague Sahil is going to display how easily this process can be applied using Anaplan's powerful calculation engine to push data to Tableau using the Tableau connector for further data visualization and analytics. So here's the general goal we're trying to accomplish. We're going to be taking in flat files from business units or partners. We're going to be using Anaplan Connect to run these batch files from the desktop. Anaplan's calculation engine is going to aggregate this data from the weekly level to the monthly level. This data is then seamlessly pushed to Tableau using the Tableau connector so users are able to build data visualizations and run further analytics. So to start off, what exactly is Anaplan Connect? Anaplan Connect is an interface that enables an Anaplan administrator to automate imports, exports, and other actions from outside the Anaplan cloud. In addition, a scheduling tool can be set up to run the action from the desktop. And I'm also going to preface the rest of this presentation by saying if you don't have Anaplan Connect downloaded, be sure to go on the Anaplan community and download the files as well as the quick start guide. So now we're going to move into the process for utilizing Anaplan Connect. First thing we have to do is create the action in Anaplan, in this case an import. Next, we want to drop the flat file that we're going to be importing into the Anaplan Connect file repository. Next, we want to create or edit the import batch file script and save as a batch file. Finally, run the script and verify the action has run correctly in Anaplan. So very quickly, let's run through the items needed to edit the batch script. We need username and password credentials, workspace ID, model ID, the file name, the full file map, and then finally the import action name from inside Anaplan. Next, let's jump into our live model tutorial. All right, so here we have our live model. As you can see, we have a landing dashboard previously built out called Client Upload. And this is where the client's going to come in and upload their weekly point of sale units and on-hand inventory. So this file is going to look like this. So we have our POS and our inventory here, and we're able to map the other dimensions accordingly. This is going to be our inputs. Anaplan is then going to use its calculation engine to aggregate this data. So now we have a client data export. Um, and here we have formulas and calculations built in where it's going to take that weekly data and transform it into an aggregate of monthly information. And this is the data that's going to be transported to Tableau. So going back to our client upload, so how do we get this data inside here? First things first, we want to make sure we have an import action created. We have a previous action already created. Um, it's this one right here at the bottom, client data import and demand sensing point of sale. You're going to be using this tag right here um, in the batch file script. We're going to move to the Anaplan Connect files. Even to create a new batch file, you just go up to edit. Um, then you could save it as something different if you wish. This is what I inputted. Anaplan user and password credentials. Workspace ID. Model ID. Operation, so the name of the file that we have. And for reference, I drop all my client um, file imports in my file repository. So back to the batch file. So you have that whole map in there in addition to the name of the file uh, tagged on the end of it. And then you want to copy and paste the action that you've created in Anaplan. And finally, as an output, you want to create a file where all the errors of the batch file are going to go. Now that we have all the information in here, you want to save the batch file. I save this file as client connect demo, save it as a batch file, and run the batch file. So we see here that the operation was successful. Exiting out of this, we're going to verify this information is in Anaplan. Here we have our module. Go ahead and refresh. And you see all our data and information has appeared inside the model. Hit the client upload dashboard. And our information is in here as well. So Anaplan being an instantaneous calculation engine, I'm going to go to Client Export, and we see that it automatically aggregated all this information into 
um, a monthly POS and monthly inventory. So as stated before, my colleague Sahil is now going to be taking you through the Tableau Connector portion. Now we will look at incorporating Anaplan Connect into our data integration process. First, we'll need to set up a process within Anaplan to send the data from Anaplan to Tableau. We'll call this export of monthly data. Next, using this process, we'll set up the export export monthly import client. This will send the data from this module towards Tableau. Next, we'll open Tableau to get this process started. We'll want to go towards Anaplan, enter in our credentials. Next, we'll want to select the workspace and model that corresponds to our desired connection. Next, exports will be shown here and we'll want to select the export that corresponds to our model. So we'll select the export monthly import client. Now we can see that the connection has been made between Anaplan and Tableau. We'll want to verify the data by clicking update now and we'll see how the corresponding monthly POS and monthly inventory match the IDs and dates for our Anaplan model. In addition, we can go into the worksheet in Tableau to create graphs using the data we imported into Tableau for further analysis of the data. If you want to get a closer look at the connection between Anaplan and Tableau, we can make direct changes in Anaplan that will be reflected here in Tableau. For example, initially this says 800 and we'll maybe change that to 900. And this should be shown in Tableau directly after updating. So we'll move back into Tableau, refresh the data, and click Update Now. We'll see here how the 800 has been changed to 900 in Tableau to reflect that the data has been transitioning correctly. Thank you for joining us for this presentation on Anaplan Connect. We at Techlink International hope this video and our insights can help you streamline and enhance your Anaplan Connect and data integration process.